know to play football. I may be a runner, but I can play a little football. Time to play football! Let's play some ball! Kick! Boys are keeping me young. They're keeping me young. All right, guys, I'm in recovery mode. You saw a little bit of maintenance there on the plantar fasciitis this morning. It's feeling better. And thank you again for all the comments and ideas for how to get rid of plantar. And I'm trying to up my game. If I'm going to up my game in the running department, I need to up my game in the maintenance department with respect to aches and pains that are popping up. And the planter is definitely a serious ache and pain. So I'm recovering from the half marathon time trial from yesterday in this shoe. The Vaporfly 4% treated me pretty well. Go watch that vlog up right hand corner. But what's even more important, you know, in your training regimen, your training um, game plan is recovery. Like you can run hard, but if you're not planning out your recovery well, Things can go south pretty quick with respect to injuries, uh, overtraining syndrome, that's also called OTS. That's a real thing. Therefore, I'm going to do a recovery run today after the half marathon yesterday, and I'm going to wear two different shoes. So usually I do like a seven-mile loop, but today I'm going to do two three-mile loops. Basically, I'm going to start in the Pegasus 35s and then switch to the Beacons. So I'm going to do three miles in this guy and switch and then go in this guy. Just kind of give you a sense of two, you know, shoe companies competing for your recovery day uh, miles, if that makes sense. So stay tuned. I'll give you my thoughts later in the video about how it goes and let's go recover. You know, such a critical part of a training plan, if you know what I mean, if you know what I mean. All right, come on. I almost forgot to mention that the last half marathon that I raced was 2010. What? That's crazy. That's eight years ago, if I'm doing the math right, right? Holy smokes. Time to get moving again. Time to get moving again. All right, here we go. Got my pegs on. Let's go. I had to uh, stop and pull over and loosen my left shoe with the Pegasus 35. I tied it a little too tight with the uh, that arch support sock that's on my left foot that you saw me put on. And I tell you what, it does help. It's not perfect, but it does help. And then I stopped and stretched. And that's one of my favorite calf and soleus stretches. It's actually not pushing on against a wall, just getting down on the ground like that. and. I learned that one in college. I'm not sure what it's called, but uh, it helps. So, all right, two more miles in the Peg 35s, and then we'll switch over to the New Balance Beacons. miles down, three miles to go. Time to switch shoes.
just trying to innovate, just trying to innovate for you guys. Wearing two different pairs of shoes on the same run, same three mile loop, so I can give you my full thoughts and analysis on how they felt in a recovery mode setting. I've never done that before, ever, in my entire life. And I've been running for 20 years, so that's kind of fun. Hope you enjoy my thoughts here in a minute, but first, I need some banana bread up in here. Ready? True love is baking away inside. Oh, mm. come on, put it in my mouth. Really? I'm not a great baker. But let me tell you, you will not go wrong with Joanna Gaines. It's good. I'm telling you, I've made this like my sixth time, and every time yeah. I crushed oh. it. Crushed it. Oh, it's good and it's hot. I'm gonna melt in. Oh. Hello. As we always say, butter my bread, butter, butter my, my bread, bread. put it in my belly. Buckle up. It's time to talk about the New Balance Beacon and the Nike Pegasus 35. Fascinating, guys. Today was a recovery run after the half marathon yesterday, and I love recovery runs. And if you follow me on Strava for long enough, you're going to figure out real quick that my easy days are easy. Usually I only go three to four miles on my recovery day, but I wanted to put both shoes through an equal distance test. And that's why I went six miles today. And usually I run nine minute pace on my easy days. And today I was like 835 pace. So I was going a little fast, probably just to test them out a little bit more anyway. Guys, I love recovery days and I love hard days like yesterday. But the question becomes, which shoe performed better on a recovery day? The Pegasus 35 or the Fresh Foam from New Balance in the Beacon? Before we get into that though, here are a few tech specs about each shoe. So the New Balance Beacon is a light, lightweight, 7.7 .7 ounces, incredibly lightweight, a very soft heel landing, and it has a nine millimeter drop from heel to toe. So keep that in mind if you like more of a flat, uh, a flat shoe, then this is probably not the shoe for you. And of course, it has a knit upper that is incredibly comfortable. And on the Nike Pegasus 35, 9.3 ounces, so almost two ounces heavier than the Beacon, so keep that in mind. And on the Nike Pegasus 35, 9.3 ounces for the weight, so a fair amount heavier than the Beacon. And the upper it boasts a booty-like liner on the inside, which I can definitely feel, and I'm gonna talk more about that in a second. Uh, and then of course the Pegasus is boasting the Nike Zoom foam through the midsole. Uh, a lot of people love it, some people not so much. And the drop on the Pegasus 35 is 10 millimeters. So from heel to toe, it's gonna drop 10 millimeters. And essentially it has a little bit of a forward lean, I can tell. So it wants to kind of put you up on your toes a little bit. The question of the day becomes, what is your go-to recovery shoe so your easy days don't think don't think tempo runs definitely don't think workouts or even long runs just your easy day recovery runs that's why i've invested in both of these shoes in the last 10 days and so i want to talk first about the new balance beacon essentially and talking specifically to daniel if you're listening uh let me down know down in the comments and a couple other people have asked the exact same question could you wear this shoe on a long run I would say yes, if you are a neutral runner and you don't need as much uh, basically structure to your shoe, meaning your ankles are strong, your overall foot is in good health. And essentially for me, I would not wear this on a 20 mile long run or even a 15 mile long run. And I would say this, because of the fresh foam, you, your legs are gonna be more tired at the end of a long run. Why? Because you're gonna sink and sink into this fresh foam a little bit and you're going to have to make up that energy loss in the per, in the in the step forward the propulsion forward and so i would suspect now i haven't done this but i would suspect that your legs would feel a little more tired uh at the end of a long run however you might be able to save your knees a little bit if you're having knee issues or, or your joints or if you have a little bit of pain somewhere i would highly highly recommend this shoe now for recovery days getting to the topic of today would I choose the Beacon over the Pegasus 35? So let me talk about the Pegasus 35 real quick. Uh, and I'm gonna come back to that real quick. Okay, the best feature that I have felt so far from the Pegasus 35 is the transition from the midsole to the upper. So on the inside of the shoe, it feels so good. Like it, it's like I described a couple days ago, it feels like a bear hug around your foot, a really, really comfortable, bear hug and my heel a couple people have been mentioning that they, they feel like their heel is slipping around 
My heel is not slipping around. Let me know if your heel is slipping around. Therefore, if I had to choose between one of these shoes and if I had a sliding scale score of 10 and I had to split the points up between both shoes, I would give the Beacon a six and a half and the Pegasus 35 a four and a half. I would choose the Beacon for a recovery day shoe over the Pegasus 35. Essentially, I really like to feel like I'm walking on clouds on my easy days, just like chilling out at nine minute pace, not thinking about a thing in the world and just bopping along, as I like to say, bopping along. And this shoe feels like I can bop along. Now, I've heard some people can do track workouts in this shoe, and I've heard some people can do long 20 mile runs in this shoe, and I don't doubt it. Now, keep in mind, the outsole, I can already see some, I've only worn it twice, and I can already see some breaking down on the outsole. So, if you're taking it out for 20 mile runs, there's a good chance the outsole is not gonna last that long. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the PEG 35, it feels good, it's more though, I think I will use the Beacon for five to eight mile recovery runs, and I will use the Pegasus 35 for eight to 12 mile medium tempo runs. Nothing crazy, that'll be for the turbos, but just you're chilling out at like 7.30 pace, just going. Uh, nothing crazy fast. So the keyword for today is recovery. Which shoe, again, for the question of the day, do you turn to for your recovery days, your easy days? Uh, bear in mind, I'm suffering from the PF, the plantar fasciitis, but once that is gone, this shoe is gonna be my best friend. Like, it just, it already feels so good, even though I have pain basically in every step. In conclusion, I wanna be real, real straightforward with you. I'm gonna buy this shoe a lot. Love the PEG 35, but I probably won't buy another pair till the PEG 36. And one last point on price point, <laughs> one last point on price point, both of these shoes are 120 bucks. So you're comparing apples to apples here with respect to price. However, I will say the PEG 35 will win the battle with respect to durability long-term. Uh, I think the outsoles on both of these shoes, this guy, eh, 250 miles. This guy, 350 miles, like the outsole on the Pegasus 35 is way more structured and durable. Um, this guy is just this, mostly just the fresh foam on the outsole. So I bet this is gonna break down a lot, not yet, a lot quicker. I just, I'm calling it now. We'll see, we'll see. Again, I'll keep you posted. All right, time to go take care of that foot inside. A little more heat for the day before tomorrow's big mountain run. Come back for that, oh boy, oh boy. Seek beauty, work hard and love each other. Enjoy the time lapse. See you tomorrow.